Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to buy the Koromaru Inu token using Trust Wallet and Uniswap. I'm going to be showing you guys step by step everything you have to do in order to buy this token. But before we get started here, I just want to remind everyone that I do have daily cryptocurrency content coming out on this channel. So if you guys are interested in crypto and you want to learn more about the space, I really recommend subscribing as I'll have lots of content coming out now and into the future. Anyhow, first things first here, we just want to open up our Trust Wallets. And I'm just going to let you guys know, I'm not going to show you how to create your Trust Wallet or how to buy or transfer Ethereum inside of this video here. I will have separate tutorials linked in the description for you guys to learn that if you need to. But you do have to have Ethereum inside of your Trust Wallet. And of course, you do have to have your Trust Wallet created. And like I said, if you need that, it'll be in the description and comment section down below. Anyhow, once you have your Ethereum inside of your Trust Wallet, all we need to do is get the contact address for this token and then put it inside of our Trust Wallet. So I'll have a link over to CoinMarketCap in the description and comment section. So you guys can just head over to CoinMarketCap and then I'll show you guys what to do once you're on there. Once you're on CoinMarketCap, you just want to go down to where you see contracts. All the way over to the right, you'll see Ethereum and there's these two little squares. You want to go ahead and click on those squares. Once you have that copied, we can then exit out of here right back into our Trust Wallet. And we can just go to the top right corner of our screens where we see the two lines and two circles. Click on that. Once you click on that, you can go to the top search here and just paste in the contract address. You will then see no assets found, add custom token. So just click on add custom token. You could leave the network on Ethereum and then you can just paste in the contract address. Everything else will load in automatically for us here. So then we can go to the top right corner and click on save. Once we have this saved, we'll now have a place for our token to go once we swap for it. So we can just back out of here, back to our main page in our trust wallets. And then we can head over to the exchange. So I'll have a link over to Uniswap in the description and the comment section down below. So you guys can just head over to Uniswap and then I'll show you guys what to do once you're on Uniswap. And once you're on Uniswap here, you just want to go to the top of your screen where you see the connect wallet button and click on connect wallet. Once you click on that, you can go ahead and click on wallet connect. And then it's going to ask you to choose your preferred wallet. So right here we can choose trust wallet, but you guys can use any one of these wallets if you have them. So like MetaMask is another popular one. You can use that if you would like to. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you with trust wallet. So we're going to click on trust wallet. Once you click on trust wallet, it's going to pop up this interface here asking you to connect Uniswap to your trust wallet so we can swap Ethereum for the token. So you want to go ahead and click on connect, then head right back into our Uniswap. Now, once you're back in Uniswap, you'll know your wallet's connected when you see your wallet address up in the top corner here, as well as your balance of Ethereum right below Ethereum right here. Now, all we have to do is select a token. So we can click on the select a token button and then paste in the contract address right in this top search again. Once you do that, you can click on import for the token and then import one more time. Once you have the token and Ethereum inside of here, you will have to set a slippage tolerance. So you guys can go beside swap all the way over to the right and click on little settings gear. Once you click on the settings gear, it'll show auto. You can leave it on auto and try to see if it goes through. Uh, but depending on the liquidity, you may not be able to do it on auto and you may have to put in a slippage tolerance. Now, usually the general is 12% for these tokens. You guys can try 12% if auto does not work for you, but you can feel free to try lower and a bit higher if that does not work for you. It's just based on the liquidity. So you do have to play around with it because it will change every second of the day. Uh, but anyways, you just want to go in here and set in your slippage tolerance if it does not work or else you can just leave it on auto, like I said. Once you have that set up though, you can then exit out of here and then you just have to put in the amount of Ethereum that you want to transfer into the token. So let's just say, for example, you want to do 0.5 Ethereum. You can go ahead and put 0.5 Ethereum in and then I will show you the amount that you'll get in exchange for your 0.5 Ethereum. Now, if you're okay with this, you can go ahead and click on swap where it says insufficient ETH balance. Once you guys click on swap, it's going to show you a broken down version of your transaction, showing you your withdrawal fees and your gas fees and things like that. Now, I am aware the price of Ethereum is at all time highs right now, so the gas fees may be a little high. So just make sure you understand those gas fees before you go through with the transaction. But if you're okay with what you see there, you can go ahead and click on swap one more time. Once you click on swap one more time, it's going to bring you back into your trust wallet, asking you for a confirmation screen. Once you see that confirmation screen, you can go ahead and click on swap or confirm. Once you see that though, you will get the check mark on Uniswap and you can then go back into your trust wallet and your tokens will arrive inside of your trust wallet usually within a couple minutes. Anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out, showing you guys how to buy this token using Trust Wallet and Uniswap. If this video did help you out. Be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.